thanks for joining me again. Uh, today, I'm going to dive into something I've kind of been avoiding um, just because it seemed a little complicated and a pain in the butt, but I'm going to jump in. What I want to do today is I want to take a pair of these, which are soft jaws, to hold and, and make a custom vice jaw to hold the fidget spinner toy uh, so that I can mill it out on both sides and actually get a nice result on both sides. Because if you remember, one side of mine was beautiful and one side was nasty. So I've got these soft jaws. They're soft aluminum. They bolt right into the machine. And uh, I figured out how to do it by watching NYC CNC's video on this. I'll put a card up there uh, so you can see his video, which describes in detail how to do it. But um, let's do it. Let's make some soft jaws and test out the fidget spinner file. I started by opening up my fidget spinner file in Fusion 360. I uh, drew out the shape, the size of the soft jaw, just measured them up real quick and easy, and then um, the gap in between the soft jaws, what I what I used to determine the space in between them was actually just the smallest parallel I have uh, laying down on its side. So I measured that out and uh, made them that distance apart so that I could clamp them into the machine and just drop that parallel in and they'd line up just right. I'm sure there's some scientific way of determining how much of your part you need to actually grasp within your soft jaws, but I just eyeballed it. I figured if I was holding the majority of that outside edge of the fidget spinner, it would be fine. And so here you can see me actually creating the outlines. Once I have the shapes the way that I want them for the for the basic block of the uh, soft jaws, I go in and I extrude away from the part a certain amount. I don't recall how much it was right now, but I just pulled it from NYC CNC's video. So I extrude away, that gives me two blocks, and then I pull upwards, but only for the section outside the fidget spinner. Now I could have done little little areas on the insides where the holes are in the fidget spinner to hold it more solid, I guess, but that seemed like an unnecessary overkill that would just cause me problems. And I added this square because um, I was thinking maybe I would do some out of aluminum and this would help, but mostly it's just practice. It, that little square area is too small. These little dog ears or uh, dog bones, I mean, whatever they're called, these little circles are so that the corners of the parts can fit in there. Otherwise, I'd have little rounded circles. And you can see here, I'm having to play with the depths of the actual machining paths because uh, I, I just had a single big stock and it was wanting to machine all the way down to that gap in between. So I had to mess with it a bit. So putting in the, uh, the final passes with this little eighth inch, I gotta say, G Wizard is amazing. It, it's really given me a lot more confidence in getting stuff done with this machine. The ability to just plug in, you know, the material and the tool and get some decent speeds and feeds. It's been nice. I swapped out my original vice jaws here with the soft jaws. Really important, get yourself a ball end and Allen key for this. That ball end is a lifesaver. It makes it so much easier. And then I was ready for my first pass. Right off the bat, this plunge freaked me out, so I hit the stop. I double checked all my feeds and speeds and everything looked like it was going to be okay, so I just let it do its thing. And it was a bit of a mess. I really should have just skipped on this whole operation with the uh, with the 3 8 inch end mill. Either that or just done it correctly. I really just didn't get that one right. But it's okay. It didn't ruin anything. The 
eighth inch came in and just did a fantastic job. Again, I'm, G Wizard is a lifesaver here. Like I'm really starting to feel confidence and being able to cut shapes without destroying the material or destroying the end mill. I mean, I know I'm still gonna have accidents, but it's a whole different world once I've started using G Wizard and figuring out feeds and speeds a bit. Uh, the surface finish here is just looking fantastic. The chips look great. Things are just kicking ass at this point. some weirdness here and I think it's all my fault as usual uh, I don't know what I was thinking on that first pass with this 3 8 uh, first of all I don't even really think I need it but second I, I did the paths weird and ended up plunging and I think I didn't tighten this down enough so it actually pushed the tool in uh, about a millimeter or so which caused all kinds of weirdness this is at all different levels and just really needs to go um, I'm gonna test and see if the if the fidget spinner fits in this real quick, and then I think I'll run this again uh, just with the the one eight um, with zero uh, stock to leave, and just get rid of that, and turn off the rest of the machine, and just get rid of all that. Here I'm coming in with that eighth inch and just tearing out that whole section that the three eighths messed up bringing it down to the proper floor and uh, I didn't choose the most efficient operation I probably could have done this in much less time but the results are fantastic and I'm fine with it I'm not really I mean I'm not running a job shop here so I'm not too concerned with wasting a few minutes here and there so I was going to do another pass to get a perfect surface finish down here even though I don't need it I can't feel those ridges but I can see them uh, and then I was also gonna do a chamfer um, but my air compressor broke so I have no cooling and I can't change tools unless I really dig into there um, so I'm just gonna leave it alone it should work as is it looks freaking beautiful broke so I couldn't do a chamfer around this edge um, it seems like it'll work beautifully as is I mean it just fits perfectly perfectly holds it in nice and snug oh man I could probably even fix this one and clean it up once I get my air compressor fixed so uh, that'll be nice oh this is exciting see you next time